I'm going to reach. And then I have to do this to do that. But if I use this area of mine, my leg grows. And I can go all the way there without transfer my weight before. But it's because I'm using my leg from this point all the way there. If I walk just from here, from this area, and I block this area here, because, I don't know, I have to stay with my partner, uh, and I have to take clothes, it won't work, right? But see, the movement, I need to work from there. Because then I'm still in my axis here. Because when I decide to run for the way, I'm, I'm safe. My leg already passed to the other side, right? It's not in a straight line, right? I can I do a straight line, yes, but I have to move, move in ahead of her so I can be in front of her, right? But we're not doing that, right? We, we're doing it in a curve. Because I am in the center of the curve. Because my step is here, and say for ending, by now, I am in front of her. Yeah. <coughs> can you add a pivot in? Yeah, you can have many ways to do the. the When you finish the movement after the the sacada, right? I would like to you be in front of her. Yeah, but now in that movement they're gonna move here. If she continue moving, we're gonna end it in the other side of the chest, right? Which one is good for the notch or for the churn, but it's not good for a walk to the cross. Because it's off, right? So I need to find the way or well to uh, stop the movement in time to be out in line, to say I'm in line over here with her, on my right side. Because if she continues moving, now I'm in line on the left side of her. It's good for the notch or for the churn, for anything else, but it's not good to walk away. Mind to say, you need to think about, if you feel like, it, oh, she overpassed, okay, let me do one lap, I don't know. 